our demon. I'm actually revisiting the track. You'll notice this is, uh, if you go back and watch the old track video, that was shot two years ago. And, uh, well, obviously I'm back in here. And you can see there's an absolute lack of any kind of development in here. They haven't done anything with it. Uh, they, I think they actually had more cleared back then than they do now. So it's kind of interesting to come back a couple years later and it's, it still hasn't changed. I don't know if you could get in trouble for being in here. I, I don't know. Is it trespassing when there's nothing here? Security camera in use, it says. Um, but I guess if you're not making a complete ass of yourself, I, I doubt anybody's really going to give a damn. Uh, worst case scenario, police might come in and tell you go away. But fun place just to get a little, little bit of lean going. I don't think I'd go nuts in here. I wouldn't have gone nuts in here back then with the amount of debris and sand. And it's gotten worse since then. But essentially, um, what they did back then was they did time trials. They would start off at a given point. And I don't know if they would do a flying lap or a standstill lap, but it was basically whoever can get around in the shortest time, you know, had the low lap record. So something I actually never participated in. So I couldn't tell you if they did a standing start or a flying lap, but it was something to me that it, it didn't appeal to me to go around this place as fast as possible, breaking as hard as I could to try to get a great time in. When you're talking about sand and curbs and gravel and all the other shit that you see on the ground here, it's not worth dropping my bike and probably busting the shit out of my bike. But it is fun. It's a good place to come blow off some steam or come blow off some lean. I just, I mean, it's just neat to see all these years later, literally, and it's still nothing here. Just a fun place to go screw around. I, um, even, I mean, it's relatively clean, like in the centers, and I've actually managed to slide a couple times. I'm on sport touring tires, so they're not the grippiest things in the world, but I doubt that the tires have that much to do with it. It probably has a lot more to do with uh, the amount of debris that's in the street here, so. Well, you can see, there's nobody bothering me. I know one guy used to come walk his dog out here. I, mean, it's a, I don't know, like I said, it's, it's a good place to just have fun, blow off some steam. Alright, one more time around. I'm surprised they haven't done anything with this place. Looks like it could be quite a, a nice subdivision, but I'll take it as a playground. Now this one, this has always been the worst turn for how much shit's in the road. But yeah, I mean, it's neat, whatever. I think I have about the same amount of gear on. I have riding boots, you know, leather gloves, riding jacket, helmet. Nothing, nothing different. I don't think I'd even, honestly, I wouldn't strap leathers on and come in here and try to get an E down anyway. It's just, it is not that clean. And it's not worth the, it's not worth putting my bike on the freaking ground to try to be a, a Rossi over here. So anyway. That's the track revisited, still here, still untouched. So, ta-ta for now, track.